Hey Redneck Nation, stay tuned. We just got a uh, shipment in of some stuff I've been really looking forward to getting. For whatever reason, I put off for a long time getting them. Finally got my hands on them. Stay tuned. We'll do a first impressions. Okay, Redneck Nation, welcome. I am Civilized Redneck Rick. Thank you guys for joining me. Before we get anything else started, do me a favor, go right, well, I'll see you. Right down here in this corner, you'll see a red subscribe button. Go ahead, go down there and hit that guy for me. Go ahead and smack that thing pretty hard. Hit that subscribe button. Give me some love for this channel. Let's grow and help your local small fry out. Um, like I said up top, what we got today, some items that I've been waiting on forever. Um, for whatever reason, I haven't picked them up. It's just now getting good fall. I uh, had opportunity to come across them. You guys might know Chris up at Motivated Living. <clears throat> I said Chris up at Motivated Living. Chris, there, there he is, right there. Go check him out, Chris at Motivated Living. Uh, good dude. We did a little trade and uh, sent him some stuff. Check his video, see if uh, he posts that. And then uh, he actually ordered some stuff for me from perfumes.com and just he took care of all that and sent it straight to me. So that's how we come about these. But enough of that. Let's get this thing open and see what we got. I'm pretty excited about this one. And this is straight up first impressions. Just now opening the box. Never smelled any of these before. Really looking forward to it. Uh, a couple of these guys in here I, I really wanted for a while. So let's see what we got here. We've got Rayanne Tradition Insurrection 2 Wild. We've got Bentley Intense. I'm really looking forward to this one. And the last one we picked up, um, picked up as a tester. This is, see if I pronounce this right. Um, I won't pretend I am. This I'm going to try to say it in a sophisticated voice here so I sound legit. This is Le Lique Encre Noir Le Extreme. Or as I call it, Encre, Encre Extreme. Um, but that's a tester on that one. Uh, all these guys cost you under $30. Stop, please. My child's behind the camera. Ah, stop. Um, so let's start. Let's go ahead and hit the... I guess we'll do the leak here. See what we've got. Wow. And of course, just a tester box. Nothing special on the box. But there's the presentation on this guy. If you look at that fluid color, love that. Um, except I've never smelled it. Haven't cheated or anything. I don't know much about any of these. Um, you know, I'm not going to put these on my skin. i got some tester strips over here. Let's use some of these tester strips. The only reason I'm not doing that is I've already got something on that it's pretty fresh and it's pretty loud. Um, and that is the... Uh, Cremo Spice and Black Vanilla. Uh, of course on the back it does say Tester. I love this presentation. It's a, I don't know if that's actual wood or... I don't know if it's wood or just plastic meant to look like wood. Either way, the leak on the top. Heavy glass bottle. You pretty much got the cube. Atomizer. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Still working on the lighting in here, but we'll get it. That's a great, great spray, that's for sure. But let's hit this guy up and see what we got. Wow, I already smell it. There's that guy. We'll put him right there so you guys can still see it. It's got a Good, I mean, I'll enjoy the smell so far, just off the opening. 
Okay. Wow. Woody. Picking up some woods already. I don't know if it's cypress. I guess it's probably cypress. I'll do a full review on it and let you know exactly, but it's fresh. I mean, if that makes any sense for Little Extreme and considering the Ancre Noirs breakdown, watch some reviews on the original. I expected this to be a little louder. It's really, it's really fresh. If that makes sense, it's fresh woodsy. Maybe some bergamot. I am I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm getting better at this picking up notes and stuff. There's some incense. I smell some incense. It smells good. I mean, that's a little fresher than I thought it was going to be. But you can definitely pick up some woods and some incense. Just a hint of bergamot. I don't smell a lot of bergamot in it. We'll come back to that one. That one's... I'll definitely wear that one. Um, that one might... I thought it was going to be fall for sure. I mean, it's still probably good for fall. Of course, wear one whatever you want to. Uh, under $30. I think it's somewhere in the range of 25 to 35 depending on where you look at it. Um, originally when these things were first released you know never pay retail for anything guys any of you guys out there who are not big frag heads like the rest of us i know most of you guys watching my channel are frag heads the rest of you don't pay retail for anything you can find it cheaper than what we call the gray market places like perfumes.com uh, perfume.com fragrance net there's places like that that pick up deals on these once they go you know off the mainstream you can pick them up at much much better prices uh, we'll visit that one back here in a second but we'll move on like i said definitely up top it's a uh, bergamot smell some cypress and some incense in there it gives it a little bit of a hint of a smokiness it's not overwhelming by any means it's nice let's move on to bentley intense i've really been looking forward to this one i've wanted this one for a long time it was on the list of what i wanted when i first uh, started um, Joy Amin I watched him do a review of this uh, and said it was pretty much niche quality he is one of the, the gentlemen him and Stephen over at Red, Red Adolescence that really I trust Ash uh, gent sends him too as far as um, you know they know their stuff I believe him the presentation on this one I really like the box uh, it's a classy looking box. Of course, Bentley, you know, high end, high end luxury cars. Um, love that color. Nothing too fancy on the box this year, but it's not bad either. You're packing. Wow. Look at the presentation on this thing. That's a good looking bottle. This cap kind of reminds me almost like a radio dial, maybe. Or squeak, squeak. Uh, scoot this guy back some. So Bentley Intense. Um, supposed to be a banger of a uh, scent. Good heavy lid. Good heavy, heavy bottle. Um, that's what your bottom. Get your sticker, your codes. Uh, just a really good looking bottle. Um, but let's get off the top. It does it's supposed to have some uh, alcohol, not alcohol, a boozy type feel to it. I find that I've really enjoying the booze uh, since here lately. But let's good atomizer. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh wow, that is good. What I'm getting. I'm going to explain this to you the best way that I can. Uh, hopefully I don't lose power. I've got some lights blinking. We're supposed to have a pretty good storm coming in. Um, but while I'm getting off of it, I'm going to explain this the best I can. This first thing that comes to my mind, I'm just going to tell you. I used to live in Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, <laughs> this is so odd. I was at a bar and... Uh, came onto this chick and just anyway she tossed her drink on me and just soaked me 
That's what I'm picking up on this. She was drinking rum. I mean, you just get smacked in the face with rum on this one. It's a spiced rum. Um, smells great, but that's what it reminds me of first. I'm sorry, guys. That's what it, first thing comes to my mind when I sprayed it was the girl soaked me with her drink, and she was drinking some kind of rum. <laughs> sorry. Um, a lot of rum. Um, you got some spices in there. I couldn't tell you exactly. Also, I smell some incense. I don't know what else is in there. Uh, some kind of woods. I couldn't tell you. It's a little bit woody. and some Picking up on a leather, too. That is nice. This, uh, everyone I watched do reviews on it said it's really a niche quality smell. I can see that. It smells wonderful this guy cost you I think it was around thirty dollars somewhere in the neighborhood of thirty dollars I wouldn't pay much more than that for it um, again wonderful scent this is nice I'll be wearing this a lot this is perfect for fall and winter perfect for fall and winter so there's the two we've got so far I'll come back on these in just a second let them dry down just a little bit and see if anything changes about them and then, of course, really looking forward to this one. I've only watched one review on this, and that was from Danielson. Um, awesome review, by the way. If you guys haven't checked his channel out, uh, I'll see if I can't remember to put a link down here. Um, but Danielson's just a really good dude and has really good reviews. Um, but we'll see what we come up with. This is supposed to be uh, pretty much a direct clone of Mugler's um, pure Havane or have it yeah Havane I guess pronounce it I'm a redneck take it easy on my pronunciations I love the presentation on this one kind of looks like a book you could put it in your bookcase it looks just like the, the uh, spine of a book there and then it pulls out and you got you got the goodies there and a little note what's the note say Rand Traditions Full Metal Jacket May H, Paris. For external use only, avoid spraying in the eyes. Keep out of reach of children. Well, where am I supposed to spray it if I can't spray it in my eyes? Oh well. But that's what you get on the inside. Very good looking bottle. Very good looking presentation. You've got this little dude here that just pops the bottle right out to you. Good heavy bottle. Good looking bottle. I've been wanting to try this guy for quite some time. Let's see. Nice bottle. Sits good in the hand. Uh, let's see what we got here. I'm sure you guys don't care about the bottle that much. Good heavy lid. Metallic over. Looks like plastic in the middle. Yep. A lot of, the, lot of uh, designers have been using this. Good heavy lid though. Let's see how she sprays. Good wide distribution. Um, Danielson said he got a lot of um, uh, cherry and I think he said honey off the opening. So we'll see what we get. Oh yeah. Definitely smell exactly what he said. So you got some cherry, some honey. I'm sitting right next to the window, by the way. And it is absolutely pouring and raining outside. Um, cherry and honey. It smells great. This would be... Pick up something else. Please don't touch that. Stop it. it smells great. Uh, I'll come back to that one. Rough top cherry and honey. Smells very mature. Man, that's nice. Perfect for fall and winter. Let's come back to these guys and see. I'll revisit these guys. Okay, on the leak, um, whatever it's been, we're pushing 15 minutes on the video, so 10 minutes or so on the dry down. I'm starting to get. It's changing. 
I still smell the woods were coming out more strongly than they were originally. I'm not getting so much of the bergamot anymore. Maybe some vetiver. Definitely some vetiver. The incense is coming out a little stronger too. Yeah, I'm picking up some vetiver. This is turning into nice. This is even nicer on the dry down than it was to me anyway, than the initial spray. This is nice. I could see this heading towards fall now. I think, honestly, just from my impression so far, I'll give it full wearing, but just from what I'm smelling so far, this could probably be an all-time, maybe not summer. The rest of the year, you could definitely rock it. Yeah, that's that's changing nice. Uh, the Bentley. You still got that beautiful smell off top. Very classy, very... I don't know, I, for lack of a better term, this is a rich person scent. Um, really nice. I, like I said, mature and sophisticated. Classy. It reminds me a lot of, um, not a lot in the same category. It's not anything near the same smell, but I would say it was right up there with uh, Zahar Office as far as uh, classy. It's really, I can see it dressing up and, you know, like somebody in a suit and tie and a big wig wearing it. This is really nice. Picking up a little more leather in it. This is a dry down. More weather, leather. Um, still got that rum note. I'm telling you, it is strong with rum. But it's beautifully done. Beautifully done. Awesome. And I haven't had the, uh, the wild sprayed as much yet this one also runs you about 20 bucks steel it's absolutely steel and this is a three ounce bottle i believe yes mm, starting to get a tobacco note but it's not your it's not a sweet tobacco it's like a sweet Danielson mentioned uh, pop tobacco. Yeah, it's starting starting to take that turn. Thank you, Danielson. Your your reviews spot on on this one. I don't know what gives it that cherry note, but it is good. Like I said twenty dollars. So you're looking twenty five, thirty five. This one, uh, the Bentley, runs you about thirty dollars, and this guy's about twenty dollars. So all these are cheapies. I don't want to say cheapies. All these are inexpensive, and they are bangers. Go out and get these. These are bangers. Go check them out. These are good. I'll probably cut that out. Starting to get a little, maybe a little cinnamon in this one too. It's just, like I say, it's it's well done. A lot of people uh, compare this one to Mugler's Pure Havane. I've never smelled that one, so I can't say yes or no. But if it smells anything like this, it is beautiful. All right, I'm going to do full reviews on these guys. Um, as always, thank you, everybody. Please go down in that corner, hit that subscribe button, show us some support and some love. Um, appreciate everybody out there subscribed to my little channel. Appreciate all of you. Uh, Chris, Georgia Gent, Trey Sense, Mr. Cheap Sense, Daniel Son, uh, Bro Sense. Man, I feel like I'm forgetting so many people. There's a lot of you out there. I appreciate all of you. Um, J Rocks. Man, there's so many people. Um, but thanks to everybody. I'll catch you next time. Please like, comment, subscribe. Go ahead and dab. And I've been getting comments on my dad. Apparently, I've not been dabbing right. So. Damn. But thank you guys. I'll catch you next time. Maybe if I figure out how to turn this off, I'll catch you next time.